Hi. Hey there. Um, <laughs> so I just wanted to come on here and say hi. Um, I'm not sure what to put here because I had to speed this up and I didn't want it to just be like totally silent because that's weird. So I'm just going to talk a little bit. Um, so this clay, I have a video prior to this one on how I got this clay. This is just beach clay that I found on the beach and I processed it to get like all the impurities out and stuff. I have a video on my channel of that and how I did that. So go check that out if you would like. Um, these, I made like, um, I don't know, five or six little pots and um, only two of them actually survived. So like, yeah. <laughs> um, I am like totally not educated in pottery. This is the first time I actually like tried hard to create something with clay. So I know I messed up on a lot of things. I know I totally didn't do like probably anything right in this, um, but it was a lot of fun. These are the pots that um, did not survive. <laughs> All of those broke um, during the drying process. Um, either they were just too thick or I dried them too quickly because I had them like next to my fireplace so I think they like heated up too quickly and they cracked. Um, so only two of these actually made it. Um, and this is them dry. You can see there was a cracked one to the left. I just left them in my window to dry, and these two were the ones that actually made it. Um, I let them dry out for like about a week, um, just like sitting out. <laughs> me. Um, and this is me putting them into the fire after they have been sitting out for about a week. Um, I just got my fireplace going, and I set them like on the outskirts of the actual fire because I read that's what you're supposed to do like let them heat up gradually and this was the next day um, taking them out and they made it they this plate did have a couple little cracks in it but I was like whatever I'm just gonna keep going and see what happens um, this one also had some cracks in it in the corners, uh, but they were pretty intact still. What the hell am I doing? <laughs> okay. I'm just gonna dump it onto this one. Holy moly! We're gonna freaking pour it. Pour it in this star so it'll be easier to pour onto. Oh my god. Okay, okay, not bad. Wait, I don't think I'm supposed to do the bottom. Are you? Just gonna let this sit, like clean with it, rock with it. Okay, okay, okay. I'm gonna take a spoon. Hopefully, this doesn't have like a chemical reaction. Like with metal. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna flip it over. Oh my freaking. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Wow. This is. Kind of a disaster. Yeah. 
Yeah. Why is that bad? I don't know. Oh my god. I'm gonna set it on the outskirts first. That looks cool. So I left the pottery in overnight, so about I think like six to eight hours or so. And the glaze that I used was, it's called, I think, dinnerware glaze or dishware glaze or something like that. And I think that basically means, like, just that it's safe to use, like, for food and stuff. Um, like, the pottery will be safe to use for food. Um, which I'm not going to be able to do with these two pieces that I made because they have so many cracks and like bubbles and holes in the in the glaze that I guess you know food can get stuck in there and um, like fester bacteria and stuff like that so um, I can use them for other things though like to put stuff in <laughs> or like an ashtray or something um, anyway it kind of worked. I mean, it, it sort of worked. They do have, like, a very shiny, glossy glaze to them. Um, and, yeah, it kind of worked. I'm super happy with them. I think they look really cool for me not knowing what I'm doing at all. Um, I think they're really neat, and I'm really proud of them. <laughs> so, anyway, um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, subscribe if you if you want. No pressure. Um, and yeah, you'll see me in the next video. Bye.